Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of The Tea. I'm Alika Cray, this is Teddy P, and this is Diva. How's it going, everybody? What's up, y'all? <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. I love okay. it. I love it. I love it. Um, so let's get right into The Tea. You guys ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, All right. Ready. I'm ready. All right. Let's get it going. And remember, discretion, discretion is the key before spilling your tea. Oh, we got right, yeah, okay. Craig, I love these glasses that you got us. I love these Are glasses. they cute? Mm-hmm. Red Solo. I'm with it. I'm definitely with they it. They definitely had different ones, but I like these three. They have, like, shot glasses when I went. They were really good. But I like the fact that we each have a different glass. Okay. Yeah. And, like, our different personalities. Yes. You better come through. Okay, so this week we have a new segment, The Flawless Report. Yes. Okay. Should we get it right into it? Right in. Right into right it. Right into it. All right, so first person up on the floor's report, Nicki Minaj. Nikki. My B.I. Yes, Nicki. Um, <laughs> Come through, Nicki. Nicki ba- debuted her latest collab with the Jordan brand, y'all. Uh-oh. Yes, Nicki. <laughs> yes, she got the latest collab. You know, she always doing the collabs. So Nicki's um, in the shoe game. Nicki is okay. in the shoe game, because you know the shoe game be on fleek. <laughs> so, this past Friday at the Jordan brand classic, Nicki was spotted, spotted wearing the bright Barbie-tastic Jordans. Barbie tastic. Okay. Barbie tastic. Barbie tastic. Wait, did Barbie you just tastic. make a name, a word up? Barbie tastic. I think I did. I mean, she does it all the time. I like it though. Right. Barbie, Barbie tastic. tastic. But you know, that's a good way to describe the sneakers. Though. That's a great way. With pink, blue, purple, and a silver stripe, the pink prints will definitely be turning heads. An official release date has not been announced as of yet, but I for one can't wait for them to drop. Because, you know, I've never had a pair of Jordans, Nikki, right, right. But, but those I, might be the ones I buy. I think you do have a pair of Jordans coming in your future. Okay? I can see a new pair of Jordans. Oh my God, that's inspired. And also, Nikki is also the first female to collab with the Jordan brand. Wow. Big up to Nikki. Right? So wait, okay. not only are the Jordans... Barbie tastic. Barbie tastic. She Come also on. is making history. She's making history. History. Yes. Oh, history. She's making history. She's making history. Okay. She's making history. Yes. Yep. I live. I live. I live. I live. Right. Um. What else is in the Forest Report? Next up on the Forest Report, congratulations is in order to the wonderful Tina Knowles. Yay. Yes. Okay. Yay. You know, my um mother, my head. Um, she got married over the weekend to Richard Lawson. Um, they've been together for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. Um, they actually got married in Newport, California on a yacht. Mm. Um, it was a little over 300 people there. Mm -hmm. Uh, they also had the same theme, uh, that Solange had Mm -hmm. with the all white. Everyone came in all white. Okay. Um. Didn't Beyonce do that too or something similar? Yeah. Everybody pretty much came up, came in white. I know they were white, of course. They pretty much kind of, the all three of them kind of did the same thing for what it looks like. Um, and all the guests, surprisingly, were escorted to the yacht by personal SUVs. Oh. Oh. Yes. Well, oh. Oh. Yes, May. Okay, they Wait, had. To quote Sex and City, I'm in my own private air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Yes. Um, so, again, congratulations to the 60-plus crowd that's getting remarried. Twerk it out. Yes. Go ahead, 60? Yes. Um, wow. Richard is 68. I'm not good for 60. I thought she, Miss Knowles uh, was a little bit older than that. She's 61. Okay. You glad? Not How younger. Is, how old is Richard? Richard is 68. Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. We can do the that. The 60-plus crowd. We can do that. Well, next in the false report, um, I'm going to snatch from you for a second. Snatch him, snatch him. And I'm going to talk about Miss Tina's daughter, Beyonce, because she was um, also, clearly she was in town. Um, She was regularly in town actually for Coachella, which then turns out she was also in town for her mom's wedding. Okay. But she also was like, you know, while I'm out here, um, one of her favorite brands, Giuseppe, was opening their first Beverly Hills store. And she was like, you know what, let me show up and show out. Okay. And honey, she showed up and definitely showed out less than ever. Um, she, um, of course, you know, it was a Giuseppe store opening. And she wore one of her, um, which I love about Beyonce, she repeats her shoes. Yeah, she's not like most celebrities where like she's like in one pair of shoes. No. And that's the only time she's, no. She um, wore her Giuseppe sandals. The, um, the black with the thick straps. She loves those sandals. She said, um, she was quoted saying that so those are 
the most comfortable shoes she's ever worn. Ooh, wow. Um, but I, I love that because it's, she made good use of her time. She's like, you know, I have this Coachella event to go to, my mom's getting married, and one of my favorite brands is opening a store. Of course I have to show up. And then, of course, show out with the flawless. Hello. Flawless. But, um, She barring, woke up like this. But barring on flawless and inspired <laughs> by Cray, um, which, yes, I would say it broke the internet. Um, Miss Minaj kind of hinted to the fact and alluded to the fact that her and Mr. Mills... Meek Mill? That it is. Might be, possibly, Wait, are definitely doing it, getting in, have been get, or engaged. Okay. okay. Um, she to took to her that. own Instagram and um, posted a picture of a heart shaped canary diamond, um, estimated to be 15 carats um, in ah. size, um, surrounded by white diamonds on the bezel, um, estimated at an astounding 500 thousand dollars. Woo! Meek's that Meek coin. Spent the coin. Okay. The coin. But on a barb that special, you need to spend the coin. You definitely do. But that is queen barb right there. But like, now, my question to you guys is, um, which actually goes with our topic, uh -oh. um, which you'll get into later on. <laughs> do you guys think it's too soon? Well, my opinion... Because not for Nikki, nothing, low-key, there is rumors that they're going to get married sooner than later. Ooh. Like, well, like real soon. The thing with me, being that I'm an intense Nikki fan, mm -hmm. I know to only uh, how do I say it? I know to only uh, believe when she says it. Because mm -hmm. there's time. There's been a lot of rumors, you know, that you know Nikki. You know, they were saying about Nikki, and half the time it wasn't true. Mm -hmm. I don't believe things about Nikki until I actually see it. But I will say this. I knew for a long time she was with Safari. Yeah. The world was like, I mean, we oh, all kind of... Oh, that's just the hitman. That's just my yeah. hitman. That's just my best friend. We all kind of knew that she was with Safari. No, he was but up. we don't know exactly when she broke. We... <laughs> I'm done. Okay, because I caught it. That's why I had to... Crazy. You are out of OC. Okay. OC. <laughs> all the way. OC. Wait, what did I do? What did you just say? Repeat our view with what you just said. Girl, I don't remember. Okay. Well, you know what? They got it on camera. So they <laughs> okay. Go back. Rewind. So anyway, like I was saying, what was I saying? You don't believe it until I you don't see believe it until I see know. it, right? But um, you know, we don't. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying was they didn't announce when um, you know, they we didn't know we don't know exactly when her and Safari broke up. We just recently found out about it when the album came out. Yeah, it just looks but like But if you right watch um, Nikki My Time Again, the special that she had on MTV, mm -hmm. um, you see Safari in the beginning. But then around the VMAs, you don't, around the VMAs, it's either before or after, I believe it was before, you don't see him. Hmm. So around that time, they may or may not have broke up. They might have been broken up longer than that. And there's no timing telling when right. that was really found. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. And we have, well, we have, the VMAs we... is live. But no, but I'm saying we have an idea as to like when the break of the time. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah we have an time. idea, right? So, and then you know, there's there were rumors that you know she had been talking to Meek before she broke up with Safari. I don't believe that because I don't think Nikki's a cheater. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they could have been friends for a long time. It could have been on some Kanye and Kim stuff because you know stuff Kim happens. was plot, um, Kanye was plotting for a minute. So, and people say that you know Meek might have been plotting because you know this isn't the first time. The paint print wasn't the first time that Nikki and Meek had worked together because he was, she was on his mixtape. I believe it's Dreamcatchers Two. Yes. They have two songs. I be on that and Dope Dealer. So. Excuse me. Okay. Right. okay. So well, you know that's me on my. But anyway, so <laughs> um, that's me knowing my Nikki shit. You know that's my bitch. But um, you know we. I there's no time telling. You know what happened. So uh, it's possible, but like I said, we don't know how long we've been together. I don't think it's been more than a year. Maybe just a year, if anything, but, um, you know, I mean, some people get married in 90 days, some people, you know, I guess, it depends on how you feel. Well, you know what, when it comes to matters of the heart, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. If you love someone, Go time ahead. is nothing. Time is just there. Yeah. If you love someone and you feel like you want to be with them for the rest of your life, then hey. Okay. Who am I Because you're the one that got to live with it. Exactly. And sleep at, with the decision that you exactly. made at the end of the night. So. Right. Yes. yes. That's definitely true. Mm -hmm. Yep. But Teddy. Yes, darling. My love. Yes, I'm here. Get into this tea, honey. 
We're getting to this. this is spot. All right, y'all. So, first up on spots of tea. Brandy. Brandy goes to Chicago, y'all. No, she didn't she move to Chicago. She didn't get on a plane to go to Chicago. Well, she took a train. Hold on. She may have gotten on the plane to come to Chicago. Chicago, the musical, that is, people. Not Chicago, the state. Brandy. Wait, really? The state? The Chicago. state. The city. The, the state okay? Movie. That was a Portia Williams movie. That was me. That was still a Portia Williams I can't. That's a Sarah <laughs> Kelly moment, too. I can't. All right. Uh, uh, Sarah, go ahead. Continue. Stop. <laughs> um, but Brandy is um, rehearsing currently uh, for the role of Roxy Hart um, that she will be playing in Chicago, the musical. If you guys are in the New York City area or you just want to come down and see Brandy because you love Chicago or you just love Brandy, um, she will be debuting on April 27th, I believe. Oh. Yes, April 27th. Okay, that's next week. Yeah, next week. Next week. Next week um, on Monday. Yes, excuse me. The 28th, Tuesday. Okay, next week. Um, at the Ambassador Theater in the city, in Manhattan. So definitely, you guys, if you, like I said, if you want to see Brandy, check her out. She's going to be on Chicago for a while, so. So Chris, we'll see you there. And I'm also going to, okay. <laughs> I'm, um, we'll also post the link uh, to the video of her rehearsing with Velma Kelly. Uh, who is also her co-star in uh, Chicago as well. So look out for that because in the rehearsal, she was doing the damn thing, I must admit. Um, next up is what I feel has been like the biggest moment this week. And I definitely have to get you guys' opinion on this. Okay. Now, Coachella mm -hmm. uh, wrapped up over the weekend mm -hmm. and Drake, Drizzy Dree, was headlining Coachella, and he closed out the show. So, okay. uh, the end of the event, he brings out Mad, Madonna. Madge. Madge, on the show, um, on the stage, excuse me. They did a medley together of Hung Up, and uh, what's the other song that they did? Um, some other song. Um, what is the name of it? It's going to bother me. Girl, I'm sorry. Oh, Human Nature. That's what it is. Okay. Um, so Human Nature hung up. After the, the medley ended, uh, Madonna then decided to have the biggest lip lock with Drake on stage. Yeah. Now, not only has Madonna said that she wanted to kiss Drake before in previous interviews, she also said... That wait, yes. Where's the receipt of that yes. interview? Yes, Child. you better you better tell me the receipt of that interview because I need to know. I need okay. to see the receipts. Oh no. I will. I, it, it's um. I will bring y'all to the receipt. Actually, okay. it's after tea. And if y'all want the receipt, I will give y'all the receipt of where she says that she actually wanted to not have a kiss with him, but also she wanted to um go on a date with him. Definitely post it on the Facebook fan page. Surely yeah. will. No problem. Um. So. After that, um, she exited the stage saying, um, bitch, I'm Madonna. After the kiss. Mm -hmm. Now, Drake's initial reaction from what everyone, you know, from his face, was he looked completely disgusted by the kiss, everything. Yeah, that was like a train wreck happening. Like, okay? Yes, it was. Now, sources, that was a train wreck happening. Mm -hmm. Sources are saying that are close to Drake and in his camp are saying that he wasn't disgusted. The kiss wasn't prearranged, and um, he only looked mad because Madonna got lip gloss on him. Bitch, what the fuck you think will be on you? Okay, we gotta keep it moist. Hello. Again, look out for the link to this video of them on, you know, on stage kissing. But according, that's what they're saying. Not for the I seen the video. Drake definitely looked disgusted. He definitely did. He was like, he his reaction was like, <laughs> he was like, he wanted to throw up in his mouth. He was like, he wanted to throw up in his mouth. Because he, he did, you know, yes, the, he did. He like, had the motion. Like, he was like, unless, oh, unless the only way I could see him like justifying that, if the lip gloss didn't take the, you know, not all lip glosses, you know. Well, maybe you didn't. Maybe that's what okay, it was. Okay, that does maybe. sound viable. Right. But it was more of a, he would, because, okay, when she kissed him, 
he had a shock look on his face. Yeah. And it processed like, oh my god, this bitch just kissed me. Right. And he pretty much regretted it. And then like, I feel like he, when I, what I remember, I feel like he tried to lift his hand to try mm. to pull her closer, but she was just like, no. Yeah. Like she was just like, no, you're, we're not doing this. No. Yes. She wasn't with it. She was not with the hand running fingers through her hair. Yes. No. She well, was not he with did, the Jay She didn't move. want him filling on her tracks. You know what? I think... I'm sorry. Her extensions. Yes. I'm sorry. I think she didn't want him touching... She didn't want Drake touching her at all because it wasn't for him. It was for her. She. This is something she want to do. True. She Which wanted to give goes him. with her alpha female mentality. This is true. I am a Donna bitch. I'm a okay. bitch. Exactly why she exited the stage, saying what she said. All right? Mm. That's understandable. So, moving this train right along to the next spot of tea. So, shout out to the lambs across the world. Um, For you lambies out there, Miss Mariah is deciding to drop yet another album. Okay? But thankfully... <laughs> <laughs> Because right, um, where's okay. the good news? <laughs> okay. Thankfully, we're not going to get a full album of new songs. Okay. It's um her number one's album. Again? Did she, does she already have one? Technically, she does. This The title of this album is going to be called Number One to Infinity. Um, the... My context is dried up. <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, bitch. <laughs> Y'all know I do not like Mariah because her and Nikki, no, I was not having it. I exactly. wasn't going to be able to snatch her ass up, so I don't give a shit. But you see, they didn't ask her back, though, right? No, they didn't. I don't think. And mm-hmm. Nikki was like, I'm not coming back. Right. She Word. was like, no, I'm done. <laughs> She's like, I'm and not. it's crazy because. <laughs> Look, she said, I used you for what I needed. Right. Okay. Because I'm this done. is my thing. With Mariah and Nikki, it seemed like you thought Mariah would have better critiques being that she's a singer. And few, she didn't. I, I don't like American Idol, so I didn't watch it even if he was on there. I did not watch it. I did see a couple of episodes. A Wait, couple of episodes you I really saw. Didn't watch no, no, I, don't, I, don't I can't stand American Idol. No, I was watching the entire season. But, but Teddy, we were so wrong about that when we first said that she was going to. I was okay. like, I'm going to watch all the no, time. I I she was. Not, no, I was so wrong with that. No, I didn't watch it. But I will say this: the couple episodes that I did catch. Mm-hmm. Um. The one episode I remember is when they had the argument, and then I probably saw a couple episodes during the live part. Mm. But Nikki essentially had better critiques, yeah. and to me, that was just like, but Nikki's, you would think that you would think that Mariah be, being, being a singer, against, right? Being like if it, like if it was if it was like um Miss Rap Supreme or a rapper show, mm-hmm. then I would be like, okay, Nikki gonna do this stuff. She gonna you know, but it's American Idol. Essentially, these are singers. They're all only singers. They're all only singers, so I just thought... Which, I mean, to me, was always my problem with American Idol, because the way music is nowadays, just singing alone isn't just enough. considered American Idol. No. It's not. Um, they should include, like, artists and, you know, like, rappers and other like, other right. genres of music. Right. But you also have to understand who the demographic is and who they're appealing the show to. Of the masses, but let's. But also, you gotta look at it this way. American Idol has changed in the last. Well, American Idol's been on TV what, ten years now, about that. Uh, if not I mean, more, maybe longer, a little bit more, yeah. right? Their whole dynamic has changed. Period. Like it has. Granted, this season, I will say, I did watch a couple episodes here and there. It is more focused on the contestants, but the last couple of seasons have been more focused on the judges, i.e., them and no shade getting Nicki Minaj, getting Mariah Carey, getting J Lo twice. Um, but you also have to understand the reason why, I, at least I think, hmm. at that point that they had the focus be on the judges is because technically the show broke when the judges left. No, but it's okay. See, what it was. And okay. the judges when were America, the, were American Idol. No, not really, because American Idol Simon. Was only, but no, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, in that sense, yes. But when American Idol first started, it was all about, you know, who is America's voice. Yeah. Who is America's Definitely. voice? Definitely. But that's and why maybe the other shows are not like the at the time. Other things. Yeah. Which, but those shows don't even pretend to know, to pretend that it's not about the judges. Right. They know. The voice is always, you know, every well, year the voice has no judge. Yeah. The other one that um, Kelly was on, what was that? X-Factor? X-Factor. Yeah. yeah. Well, the one that Simon and Paul are on, right? Yes. Well, which yeah. is also Simon's show. I can't. Is Paul still on it, though? I don't know. I don't watch. I don't, watch. I don't, I don't I'm not here for it. Is he even still on? I don't know. So, you're telling me. Well, yes. Number one to infinity. Mm -hmm. Um, It will be dropping May 18th. Uh, She also has one new title track. Very much infinity. Of course. Called Infinity. 
Okay. Um, that title track Which gets for the nineties, you know, theme of the album. Okay. It will actually uh, be coming out tomorrow. The title track drops tomorrow. So for the lands across the world, look for your um, infinity. I personally won't be checking for it. Nope. Well, um, we'll be and it. No, she no, no, no. also just got signed to Epic. So, I... Okay, because did her label drop her? Exactly. <laughs> I forgot about okay. that. So, I'm interested to see, like, exactly what she's going to do. Because, honestly, at this point, I'm not checking for Mariah. I don't think anybody else is checking for Mariah. We all... Especially after that last performance she had where she... What was that, Christmas? That was Christmas. Talk Christmas, about right? it. She okay. Was, I mean... Terrible. I... No, I'm not going to defend her. Okay, well, we all know and recognize... Your legendary status. Therefore... Which can be revoked. You it can be revoked. You do know that. It can it be can, revoked. It surely can be revoked. Don't let me call Miss Turner. Hmm. But... Don't make me summon Whitney from the grave. If I'm you sorry. want to keep... <laughs> you can be a star. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, if sorry. you... Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to keep your legendary status, mama, sit... Down and raise them two little twins, right? And go about your day. Nobody wants to hear your voice. We know you can't hit them notes no more. Right. That's why you, you think you Ariana know? is in the presence of us. But wait, you know what it is too. You know how like people of legendary status they take a break, but then they might do a world tour, maybe five or ten years. From I eat right, like do something like that. Like, not something, Tina. Okay, Tina Turner, her voice isn't exactly how it was, you know, back then because she's older. Right, she's older. Her right. voice has definitely changed. Right, but she knows that. I'm going to sit down for five, ten years. Right. Just be out of the spotlight. And relax She's and like, chill. I'm going to arrive because I, I want to do a tour. Right. Do a world tour. World win that bitch. Okay. Right. And then go disappear for the 10, 15 years. Right. Because then that's for nothing. I mean, also, people don't want to keep hearing the same songs mm-hmm. from you year after year after year. Yes. But if you take a break, we haven't heard Mariah in a long time. But you know what, too? I mean, Let's go on tour. And I understand what Mariah's trying to do. She's like, you know, this whole thing with her and Nick Cannon, you know, getting divorced and breaking up. But it really wasn't that big. But, no, it may not have been that big in the public eye, but for it her, hurt her for feelings. Her. It probably hurt her feelings a lot. It so it's like, it's Girl, more like... your feelings would be hurt over a prearranged <laughs> marriage. I'm done. But oh. I mean, it's probably more of those, you know what, let me be busy and engulf myself in my work and it'll distract me. I what work? Where your she work is the badass twins! <laughs> Which I was going to say, that she, Morocco, Moroccan and Morocco okay. or... Mariah, across the pond. I know one is Morocco or Moroccan or something like that. I got it. I can't. Uh, the last spot of tea for today. <laughs> right, because Mariah's tired. Okay, is Miss Def, Dash, excuse Dej. me, Dej Loaf. Um, she actually is about to drop a new single as well as uh, a new video. Um, look for the link for the teaser. It's called Me, You, and Hennessy. Me, you, I don't Hennessey. like Hennessy. Girl, that sounds like a party. And that I know sounds like a uh, Well, no, that sounds like a sex party right happen. Okay, yeah, because yeah. not for nothing. Because the Hennessy will get you turned. <laughs> Just from the liquors, uh, the liquor, the, liquors, the lyrics, the liquors. Okay, <laughs> the lyrics alone. All I'm gonna say is that Hennessy makes her legs twerk. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, and that concludes your spot of. <laughs> Cray cray. What you got? I, I hear that you, someone out there, needs some kind of advice. Yes, apparently somebody. Yes, needs... for the second episode, already being advice. Okay. Okay. You know, hey. I do what I can. Cray, you guys do what you got to do. So I have a question here mm-hmm. from Jalissa from Piscataway, New mm-hmm. Jersey. But like down here, I got you. Okay. okay. So, Jalissa from Piscataway, New Jersey, mm-hmm. is asking, how do I feel about eloping? Eloping, Ooh. like... Eloping. Like, as in... Like, like running away. <laughs> running away to get married, yes. Because that's okay. what... Essentially, that's what she's asking. I wow. Know, I haven't heard that, no, that term in a while. Word. Like, people eloping. just... I didn't know people, people still did that. I didn't know people still got mm. married, honestly. Well, you know, once, <laughs> once the, you know, once the gays got to get married, I just stopped getting married. I was like, I don't want to get married anymore. Okay. I mean, I still want to get married. That would be a nice little thing. But anyway, um, so she oh. is asking, how do I feel about eloping? Well, how do you feel? Um, I feel 
that if you feel eloping is best for you, then do it. Some people want a wedding. Mm-hmm. Some people honestly just want the wedding and don't even want the marriage, but that's yeah. their business. Oh, yeah, trust me. I see that every <laughs> I day. I see it every day. I see every it every day, day. Every day. All day. But um, basically... <laughs> I was so about to be so shady. You don't. Go ahead. Throw the shade. You want to throw a little shade before Why I not? continue? I was, I was all I was going to say is, girl, I just went through it. So, uh, <laughs> so that, that's in the box. That's Jeez. in the box. No, they know. They do know? Yes, they know. Okay. So, it's um, that's um, basically, <laughs> basically, I feel that eloping is up to you. If you feel you want to get married and you don't want your family there or you don't want your friends to enjoy that moment with you, if you just want to be you and that person and you don't want to go to City Hall, then that's up to you. Me, personally... I used to want a big wedding, but then I had my Sweet 16 party, and I had prom, and I'm over big, poofy dresses. So, <laughs> that is it for our advice column this yes, week. A. Craig. A. Craig. <laughs> and, you know, for future references, you can always send in questions. doesn't have to be always be about, you know, um, anything relationship-wise. If you need advice on natural hair, you can definitely... Hit me up on that. Um, Silky curls. <laughs> anything. Yes. If you need advice on a fashion <laughs> tip, if you need to know how to dress for an interview, I will definitely help you out. If anything, if I don't premiere it on the show, I can always write to you personally and help you with that, okay? Bada bing, okay. bada boom. Okay. All right. All right. So, Kevin, you ready to get into those trends this week? <sighs> yes, the trends. Um, I want to start with this one trend. Um, it's not really a trend. It's like more like a trend report. Ooh. Um, because Jaden Smith, yes, son of the handsome mm. and sexy mm. Will Smith, you know, and the super all. gorgeous Jada Pinkett Smith. Okay. That, that's what um, I love being for. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I just become asexual for both of them. I hear you. Like, come on. Oh. Um, <laughs> unless you come out the closet. <gasps> what? Jada came out the closet? Um, out the allegedly. Closet? What? Allegedly. But, girl, <sighs> bye. This is so false. This is definitely a rumor that has no kind of weight. Basically, the rumor started um, early in March where um, he first showed up to school wearing what appeared to be a dress, um, which actually is what I'm wearing, but I'm sitting down so you can't tell, um, which was an oversized tee, and he had on um, like really super skinny jeans. Um, but then this past week, um, he came to school in a full-on dress. And I mean, yes, a full-on dress. Like, the dress you would wear. Like, you sure I would wear it? You know, I don't wear well, it. Well, girl, not that dress. Not okay. that dress. I was going to say. A full-on dress. Okay. Um, and he also had a headpiece that had, like, roses oh. in it. Um, you guys will see the picture. I have seen the picture. Um... But it's crazy because this actual rumor really started in 2012 when he first started wearing the trend of the oversized tees, which to me is like a really older trend than that. Well, For real, well but the um, thing is, that, these oversized tees now, they're actually very tasteful because in yeah. the 90s when uh, men wore oversized it. tees, it was very baggy and not... Wait, I just want to pause you. Homeless looking. I just want to pause you. Do you guys hear that she called it tasteful? Because earlier, she, when I opened the door, she said, hello, thigh. He's a thigh, okay? <laughs> he calls himself a thigh. Come on. Because of my oversized seat. No, no, I love it. Because you have yeah. the thigh appeal, but yeah. I didn't mean the shirt exactly. Oh. Okay, maybe I did. Boo! But, but what is thigh appeal, boo? Everything Kevin has. <laughs> <laughs> and on that <laughs> note, I'm a sick. Super one. This super is one. the Mighty Morphin Power thought. Oh, you got to correct this time. Oh. Yes, I did. Oh. Um, but not for nothing, this trend is a very old trend. Um, it's very like it's an eighties trend actually. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it actually started a little before that too though. Mm-hmm. But it's really it got really popularized in the eighties. It died out like everything in the eighties and of course has made a resurgence. Um, my question to you guys is does a person's sense of style have to automatically <laughs> determine their um, sexual preference? No. But what happens is in America we stereotype. Mm-hmm. Um, of course. Just like with me, with my now 14 piercings, we're not going to talk about what happened to the 15th one, mm-hmm. but me with my 14 Wait, piercings. Let's just give it a moment, a of, silence. moment of silence for my nose piercing. Okay, good Okay. Talk. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, me with my now 14 piercings and my red hair and my natural hair, and even with that alone, my mm-hmm. natural hair alone, I get stereotyped. Um, well, you know, I believe Girl, I told you, yes. but I actually got mm-hmm. shaded at my job. I got called a runaway slave and settled like Harriet Tubman. And, you know, I'm 
I was ready to go up there and fight, but she's like, no, stay home. But right. Like, like, and because of my hair job. was natural and I had a head wrap on one day. And you know what? You should have turned around and told them, well, at least I'm legendary and I opened up the floodgates <laughs> you know what? to let somebody the rest of my people too. free. Somebody on my job definitely said that. They were like, why didn't you? Bo-? Well, the thing was, he didn't say it to me, so that's why I couldn't defend myself. Yeah. But essentially, I do but get girl, it a higher and up. I told you, girl. Oh, okay. Let me come through. No. Out. Anyway, my point was, and I'm gonna incriminate myself the rest of the while. My point was, I'll be outside. My party. point was Wait, that no. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> my point was that you know I get stereotyped because of my hair, because mm-hmm. of my piercings, because I'm bigger, because of my. Even my skin tone sometimes. I mean, I don't. I'm. I'm not light. I'm not dark. I'm in the middle. But people will judge me on my skin tone. And listen, it happens. Okay, there was a documentary on it, and Raven Simone was a part of it. Damn it! So don't even go there, girl. This finger. <laughs> yeah. Uh... But you know, it, it's different things. It, it, one of the biggest things that that stereotype for. I'm sorry. When you, I was I'm younger, sorry, was I my know. weight. I gotta go back. I'm sorry. I you know being you know clearly of you know a darker skinned brother. Yeah. I cannot understand why, and understand and comp- you know and and you know understand how you guys feel like discriminated against because of your skin complexion. Oh, what? Are you no, serious? no, because not for nothing. Like you know, in society, it's very much like you know the lighter skin complexion is, no. is more. It's so but wait, you know why? Hair. Because people who are lighter. To for let's say you're well you're darker yes and, and, look, and I love it so I don't, right I your skin is beautiful I love, I love brown skin brown skin is the right skin mm-hmm. dark skin listen <laughs> Jesus um, but the towel no I'm good okay but um the thing is that to your skin tone mm-hmm. there's women and there's men that may not be as comfortable as you mm-hmm. in their skin mm-hmm. so instead of them dealing with it and becoming comfortable and having the confidence. To deal Come on now. With it, Come on. Advertise. To deal with it, they sit there and pick on us. And I'm not even that light. To yeah. me, I'm literally caramel. Yeah. Like actually like, I'm um, not in even this light. lighting, you guys look lighter. Right. I'm not I even that, darker. I'm not even that light. Cause mm-hmm. not for nothing, my father's girlfriend's family, they're a whole lot lighter than me. And yeah, she actually showed me her picture. Yeah, and they're a whole lot really lighter than me. And that and I don't even I'm not saying that anybody deserves to be criticized or, mm-hmm. you know, judged on that but it happens even the the big famous thing about it school days the jigaboos and the come on come on yeah that's the biggest thing like good and bad hair good and bad hair and that's another thing like it happens like i'm not saying that he should do that because not for nothing didn't kanye west wear a dress at a performance one time it's kanye kanye okay kanye but why is kanye excused kanye's done it diddy's done it um what's his name the ever rose's ex-husband um, All these people have worn dresses. Wiz Khalifa, um, right? Rocky. And then remember when um, um, Kid Cudi? I think you guys had spoken about it one time on the past top. episode. Kid Cudi with the crop top. Yeah. Why is it? Uh, and this is crazy to me but because not they kind of did get on Kid Cudi. Right, but then do you remember the Power Rangers, mm-hmm. the Mighty Warping Power Rangers? Mm-hmm. I believe Tommy and the Red Ranger. Jason. I forget his name. They both used to wear crop tops because they were martial artists. Yeah. So, I don't understand what the problem is. You can't, a man, listen, my, me personally, mm-hmm. if you're comfortable with it, I'm fine with it. Because there's times, me being a bigger person in the summertime, I'm naked. Because I don't want to be uncomfortable. And only- you will see my thighs, <laughs> And you will see my <laughs> you will see my thighs, my rolls, my bingo wings. I don't care because my wings? wings, my bingo wings. What's I like that. that. Okay, what's a bingo? I've wing? never I've heard got of an that. extra little jiggle on my arms, but that's okay. Nobody complains. A, a bingo, bingo wing. wing. A bingo wing. An extra little jiggle in your arms. Yes, yes, it's I'm like, I'm around. I don't no. care. Okay, two, two new terms okay. in the same episode. I right. okay. So, you know, like, as long as my thing is, like I said, I'm naked. Like, <laughs> we went to the beach last summer. Didn't I have my arms and my breasts? I don't yes. care. Like, I would just be out. Yes. The I'm girls like, were there. I can't do nothing about that. But no. I have my Girl, baby. The girls was everywhere. They was everywhere. <laughs> I have my, and I have my hair up showing my neck and my skin. Like, I want to be comfortable. As long as you're comfortable, then that's fine. Yeah. If he's comfortable wearing a dress and flowers, hey, let him. And plus, I love that you said that because his defense to this whole thing was um, he does not feel that he was wearing a dress, you know, marketed for a girl, which it clearly was. Right. That's, you know, how, you know, society mm. is it. But he's like, I'm just wearing clothes. Right. Essentially, period. that's what it is. I'm just wearing clothes, period. Because if this he went go- outside naked with his doodle out, they'd still be complaining. Yeah. I was about to say, this goes to um, 
what we were talking about before we actually got into spilling tea, the, the quote. That's kind of like the quote. He obviously sees oh, the, the his quote world quote. Right. as clothes just being clothes. Right. And Essentially, it's no... Or he just sees all clothes being unisex. Right. Yes. Because there's a lot of, and there's a lot of unisex dressers out there. Mm. That there's women that still dress like you know men, but they still love men. Mm-hmm. So you know it's up to you as long as you're comfortable. Hey, and he was comfortable. Yes, and he 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 owned it. He owned it. He which, did. Which is the main thing. You I don't know about the At roses. the end of the day, you're talking about him, so he did what he had to do. Okay. Yes, but I love the fact that he owned it, and it's like fuck you, bitches. I can care less. Um, but speaking to another, speaking about another person who has a fuck you bitches, I don't care kind of attitude, um, I need all of the hearts to stand up right now. Now sit down, honey, because you need to be okay. You can't even see, yeah, you freaking giant. Oh, they just okay. saw your waistline. <laughs> like, no, they they saw your waistline. <laughs> they, they, like, they didn't even see you. He said, if you a heart, stand up. So, uh, I don't um, know what else to do. Wait, okay, I'll put my hands up. Okay, so, okay, real quick. Okay, a heart is basically a Don Richard fan. Yes. Oh, Dawn. Okay, got gotcha. it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, the reason I want you guys to stand up because, you know, the weather has been really nice lately. Oh, the God. sun is, like, super bright, super shiny. Um, and with that, the Black Era Eyewear is finally here. Um, it's available Um, Actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to skip the whole part. Um, okay, so Dawn Bouchard designed these in collaboration with Coco... Coco and Breeze. Mm-hmm. Um, they're valued at $195. They are super cute, super affordable. They're right online with Michael Kors and Coach and most other high-end brands. <laughs> right. Um, trust me, a bitch will be getting a pair because that shit is really cute. Hello. Um, they are available at CocoandBreeze.com. Um, Teddy, since you are a heart, <laughs> what did you think about them? Because I know what crazy I mean, about, which we'll get in two seconds. I absolutely love the shades, just for the simple mm-hmm. fact. I believe this is their second collaboration together. Mm-hmm. Second collaboration. Um, the first pair I bought, mm-hmm. they got stolen, but I bought them. And this, these, I'm gonna have to get these, just because Girl, the golden hearts and get a padlock. The golden hearts were gone. Like, you better get a lock and key and lock them bitches up every night mm-hmm. when you and walk plus, in the house. Coco and breezy shades, like. Everywhere you go, it's, and, and you would think a lot of people would have them, but a lot of people don't wear Coco and Breezy shades, which well, is why people, I value them so much more. But most people don't know about Coco and Breezy shades, period. It's well, I don't care. You stay sweet on Coco no, and Breezy I'm while done. I'll be away. I'm done. <laughs> Craig, what are your opinions on the glasses? I told you I wanted you to buy me a pair, so oh, okay. I think you should get on it. I'm a, I'm a big shades girl. In the summertime, you would definitely see me rocking shades. I have different shades, like... I have the boxy kind of shades. I have the cat eye shades. Mm. I, I'm a shades person in the summertime. I love, like, I, I've loved shades since I was a child. Like, and the reason, the reason I got my contacts is so I can wear shades. Okay. Hello. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that's it. It's up there. They're available at com. Definitely go check it out. Um, I think they are definitely a good buy. I know I'm going to get a pair. Craig's going to get a pair because I'm buying her a pair apparently. Yes, you are. I don't know how that arranging happened. And I don't know, Teddy for or sure yours might just come up missing one day, it's and you'll see me with them. The black arrow across the board. <laughs> <laughs> but now let's get into Teddy's favorite part of the trend. Ready? She tried it. <laughs> I love your intro for that. <laughs> um. So this week on, she tried it. We have um, Kenya Moore versus um, Beyonce wearing a Michael Castiello um, gown. Now, Beyonce wore hers at the 2014 Grammys, and Kenya Moore paid homage at the... That's what you call it? I'm calling it... (laughs) Girl, can I let it get out and then you throw your shade? (laughs) Right, because you're a shady... Um, Kenya Moore paid homage at the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion show. So, <laughs> she kind of tried to it for you. Right? Right, because it's going to be all... Is it coming on tonight? Yes. yes. It's coming on it's tonight. Part it's going to be on tonight. tonight. And you'll see the dress. But, Kenton, you, you clearly she tried it for you. Um, she tried it. I mean... Why did she try it? It was still cute. It's still... You know, Kenya has a gorgeous body. Mm-hmm. Um, That's actually hers. Okay? Oh, it's not paid for? No. Kenya's body is hers. I don't watch the show, so I Including know. her hair. Okay. She might put in a couple of tracks every once in a while, no, but that's all her. Check into the folder. I understand. So, I mean, for me, Kenya can wear anything and look amazing in it. 
to the point where I'm going to want to drop my drawers and put on a condom and ask her if she wants to wants me to impregnate. That's true, right. though. Because even when she has on her gym clothes, she'd be looking like, Word. Well, I woke up like this. Okay. Like, and hair be laid while she's running. She be on the treadmill on the Baywatch run. Like, she's gorgeous. <laughs> I wouldn't say she tried it, but she tried. She tried. She she tried. She tried. Okay. Okay. I would say versus Beyonce, she tried. Now, everybody who knows me, I'm not big on Beyonce. Sorry, Keith. It's okay. Everybody okay. ain't got to be down with the Bay House. Mm-hmm. So, on that note, um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I personally, I actually like Kenya on the show mm. because she's one of those. Wait, listen. She can tell her. You just Jenny. gave her all this praise. The reason why I like Kenya because she stirs up controversy. I like people who stir up controversy. Bye. So you and ninety five percent of America agree. Right. That. No. Only she's reason. The only reason why because like she walks in a room and they're pressed. Yeah. Yeah, because there's been a couple episodes I've seen of where she walks Kenya in a room and they are the pressed. They're pressed. For what? She just walked in? What the hell? So, but True. I think right. that, you know, if she yeah. wanted to recreate her Beyonce little fantasy and thought she was Beyonce, then go right Well, you know, she thinks she is Beyonce. Right. I don't know how when she's on Bravo and she doesn't make as much money as Beyonce, but that's none of my business. I'm going to sit my tea on that one. She woke up like something, but I don't um, know if it was like this. Whoop! Ooh. <laughs> just saying. Um, for me, um, at first I was torn. At first, I was torn mm-hmm. um, because initially I look at it, I'm like, "Oh, Kenya, bitch, you won Beyonce. I'm sorry, you sit down." But then I got into it really, really well. I noticed that it's not the same exact dress. It is Beyonce has the original. Kenya Moore has a I don't want to call it a copy, but a revamped version of it okay. yeah. that suited her body better. Okay. So for that reason, for body going Tight. on, Kenya Slade. Right. She I mean, did. That's understandable. I, I agree with that. But then I got into the history mm-hmm. of, you know, um, of, of Miss Kenya Moore. And there's been several times she's been quoted as saying she's better than Beyonce or she is Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, Beyonce was she, she was her. Mm. Um, mm. And by her wearing this dress a year later... A year um, later, let's get into it. Because when did Beyonce wear it? I don't know. Last year, 2014, the Grammys. And this is 2015, right? 2015. Okay. Um, Have a check. Yeah. Say what? In, in what the middle of the year, I think. The, this. Right, what's or, the show? Almost in the middle of the year. What's the show? Um, I'm going to, you know, tell Kenya to have several. She needs um, to have a stadium. Oh, no, she, no, she needs to have two stadiums. And an airplane. One for her and one for her ego. True. Um, So I'm going to say there, she, she tried it. Um, next up, we have Miss Fergie versus Cassie versus Bella Thorne wearing a wearing Versace sandal valued at nine ninety five. Um, who completed the look best? Cray. Why me? Because we're going in. And I want her last time. You said what? You need her last time. Um. You don't know. I don't. It's gonna have to be a tie for me. A three way tie? It's gonna have to be a three way tie. I can't That's possible. I can't choose. That's possible. I say Cassie tried it. Even though she's very model esque, mm-hmm. she just looked plain. She looked too okay. generic. She looks too generic. For Cassie herself, she mm-hmm. looks too generic. Yeah, because she dresses. Yeah, okay, she yeah, she does dress. Okay. She um does. For me, out of the three, oh girl, she's dying. Um, for me, <laughs> out of the three, oh Cassie, <laughs> <laughs> literally, imagine. Um, I can't. <laughs> for me, out of the three, um, the completed look, I am going to say, I think Cassie is the one, the, the clear victor for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's because I like the way she looks better in her whole entire look. Right. Um, Fergie came really close. Her hair killed it. I didn't, I didn't like the way her hair looked. Um, Bella yeah, hair definitely sets that off. Bella, I looked at her. I I didn't see anything appealing except for the shoes, but yeah, that was it. Kept moving. So for me, Cassie, she slayed. Um, and finally, the last people we have, and she tried it, is Miss Mariah Carey versus Chris Jenner versus Kristen Stewart wearing a yellow quilted leather jacket by Balenciaga. I guess I'll go for some. 
Um, yeah, because we will first the last two times. Yes, it's okay. Um, yeah. Everyone tried it, especially Mariah. Mariah really tried that shit. Even though she wore it first, back in like the year 27 BC. Stop! Um, she definitely... That's the vintage pieces. Yeah, <laughs> vintage pieces. <laughs> No, she's assigned it. Ah! <laughs> I can't. Not we in BC time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, oh my god. But yes, maybe Mariah, we should ask Jesus' opinion too. Call him up on the <laughs> main line. <laughs> um, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, Mariah tried tried it because I hate the way it fits her. It it fit her too. I long. agree. Um, Chris Jenner looks nice in it. I just think she really just grabbed the jacket and ran out the door. Um, I think Kristen Stewart put the most effort into it because she actually like, she styled the outfit around right. the jacket. Like right. she had on the nice um, black and white pants. Right. I love her rocker boots. Um, and I I love the way she looks in it. Right. I love it. All right. So are we getting into our tea of the week? Sure. Why not? Let's spill. Let's spill. Let's spill. All right. Now, the tea this week is actually inspired by Kevin. I mean, yes, it is. Yeah, because it was definitely. It definitely is. And it's just about, you know, how some of you guys just like to stay in your bag. Some of you like to go swimming in your bag at the bottom of the bag. (laughs) They're looking for your keys in the bottom of the bag. You know, that one penny you need to pay your $3.99. Come on. AKA, being in your feelings, in your emotions, emotional. And. Just the start of getting to know someone. Why does a guy or female feel like they should command or demand some form of attention that wasn't even given to them in the first place? Example. You and a person are talking, just started talking, and then they hit you with the, oh, where are you? Why haven't you called me back yet? What are you doing? Why do you require this much time in, of my time and of my attention if we're not there yet? Stop being thirsty. At least I think. That's thirst. Mm-hmm. In some, to some form of degree. Because you're gr- asking for attention, which tells me you don't have much on your plate. But, again, why do we as people seem to, at the beginning of the start of something... Just, you know, feel like we should, I guess, demand attention that wasn't ever given to us. Okay, so I have a question to your question. Okay. Because there's a lot of females, and some men too, that probably want to ask this question too. Mm -hmm. Now, are you saying initially, because this is what happens. Happens to me, it happens to a couple of my friends. What happens is when you guys first start talking, mm-hmm. the chemistry is there, so you're texting all the time. You're mm-hmm. talking all the time. And, Which then is it fine. Just, and then it just stops. Which is fine. Which is fine. And that's the problem because okay, that's where it becomes a problem because you're used to the you're used to the conversation. Should I clarify this? Since... I was gonna say the where the problem was. Okay. So okay. let me let me do this and maybe we'll answer your question. Okay. So I have recently started talking to somebody. Okay. Um it's maybe two weeks old. I, mean, I don't think it's even two weeks old, honestly. Oh. Um, but it's about two weeks old. Um, and we, you know, it's at the beginning stages, so you know, we text all day long. Um, I, you know, I, as some, of, as some of you guys know, I hate talking on the phone, but we're getting to know each other, so I'm doing the talking on the phone. Okay. Um, what happened was, um, I had came home from work. Um, I got undressed, you know, I did my after work thing. It was late at night. I was like, no. You better be it, painting the picture. Yes. Right. It, it was, you know. <laughs> you painted a very intimate picture yes. for our viewers. It was 11 o'clock at night. Don't be mad if we get emails about that, okay? Just listen, <laughs> hey, I got to tell a story. <laughs> um, so it was 11 o'clock at night. Um, I had to go to the bathroom. And yes, I had to literally go and sit and take a, a break. <laughs> um, on the throne. On, on the, the throne. throne. Yes. The phone and the throne. my phone was low on battery, so I put my phone on the charger <laughs> in my room, and my and I went to the bathroom, which is in a clearly in another room. Um, apparently, I got oh, so. two text messages and a phone call, which I didn't hear because the phone was in the other room. So I get back. So once I'm done with doing my 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 royal business, mm-hmm. <laughs> I get back to the phone. After, of course, I have to wash my hands. Um, <laughs> yes, because we don't want a shitty phone. No, no shitty phone. Oh, love. Um, <laughs> Um, I get back to the phone and 
I see, you know, I see the messages and everything. So instead of replying to the messages, I call back. And it's like, oh, why didn't you answer my phone call? Um, I, I text you two times. Who are you with? Excuse me? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Can you repeat and that? And just for reference, you guys are nowhere near it. Yeah, we're not even like... Okay, because I... Oh, that's okay. bad. That's <laughs> I just had to make sure. I just wanted to be sure. It's not even, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's boo. Oh, this is, you know, a potential. It's like, I'm getting to know you. Right. Oh, your um, name is what? Yeah, like, not nothing like... Your number's not even my phone yet. Um, yeah. non facto. Yeah. That person, yeah. So, like, yeah, I gotta read through the conversation to remember the name. Okay. Um, I love those types of conversations. Yeah. I have a lot. But, um, it was like, um, excuse me, like, who are you, like, you know, who are you and why are you asking me all of this, you know, thing? Oh, I know you're with the next one. Who is the next one? I am very much single. Um, I am, the only person I'm getting to know right now is your Well, you could be single and still be dabbling. That's what I just said. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm very I'm, much saying but I'm the only person I am. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, like, he, in his yeah. eyes, he probably feels like, you know, you're single, so you can do whatever and you want. And that brings me to my question. But Why then, do you automatically assume that I am talking to the next person or I am no longer interested in you because I didn't answer a text message and a phone call? I will get on the other side of that fence because I've been on the other side. Of okay, that fence. well, go ahead, clarify for me because I, because you're a child, me, I don't understand. For me personally, but this is what when it happens to me, essentially, this is what okay, happens. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm with you guys. But but essentially, this. essentially, this is what happens. Normally, nine times out of ten, when I first start talking to somebody. Mm-hmm. If our chemistry is there, we're talking all the time. And it's not like, sometimes I won't even be the first person to have the conversation. It'll be like, I'll wake up, have a good morning text, you know, or a good night if I fell asleep. Because there's always that one person in right. the beginning of our ship. Right, that. right. So, so that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, there will, be, there will be times where I wouldn't even be the first person texting. Mm. Like, I would just wake up and have a text message. I would come, you know, I would go to the bathroom, come back, have a text message. I would go, you know, whatever. I would mm. have a text message. And, you know, we would go out on a date or two or whatever, and then the person would be interested or seem interested. But, let me say this. <laughs> go ahead, continue. Wait, what? No, continue. Let because me... I was going to say, in rebuttal to that, we haven't even been on a date. Oh, okay. Well, then let me take it back a bit. Before we even go on a date, <laughs> so, let, me, let me take it back a bit. <laughs> this is what I'm, like, saying, like, why are you, like, well, okay, so... Okay, so, okay, then I misunderstood. So, you, so... Essentially, well, I'm, I'm, I'm asked, I, I made it in general, mm-hmm. but right. like per- pertaining to my actual situation, right? Why so soon are you like? Well, some people, it's like okay, but like you, nigga, like chill, because you're, now you're gonna tu- now you're going to turn me off mm-hmm. by so jumping the gun. Let me ask I, you, go ahead. Let I me ask you this: at, at, at a point in time, were you guys talking heavily like all day? Yeah, like I said, like the conversation's been all day, every day. So, like, <laughs> well, see, that's why. Okay, for me personally, I like consistency. Mm-hmm. Some people don't like inconsistency. But mm. what I realized, what I failed to realize, that when you're talking to get to know somebody, mm. you have to realize that they have a life too. Like their life doesn't just become yours automatically. Mm. So you can't, you can't really ask that person for too much time. You would like to, mm. you know, if you're getting to know each other, we want, we want to think that that person is thinking about us all day, and we want to know that he can't wait Girl, to text you and stuff that. Right, but you don't care how much you have, with you. right? But you have other things going on. Some people, mm. and you're also different. Some people. Mm want to know what's going on, mm. you know, so, but like I said, I've been on the other side of the fence, but I do understand now that, you know, that person has a life, mm. and I also, too, have a life, and neither of our lives can stop, just because we're getting, we're, we're not even in a relationship yet, but we're getting to know each other, and our lives can't stop, yeah. and, but sometimes, you know, how do I put this, sometimes people get in their own heads, and they just, like, well, we're gonna text all the time, like, you know, it might be slow at work, or you might be on vacation, True. whatever. So you have that time to talk to that person, but out of nowhere, work is busy, or you're back from vacation, and you simply cannot talk like you used to. Yeah. Or maybe your job saw you texting on your phone and brought it to your attention. So it's like at this point now you can't text me. Right, right, <laughs> right. They ain't gonna be the real, but you know, essentially, um, they you don't know, want that drama. Okay. <laughs> essentially, something might change, and what you have to realize is change. Is only going to bring you guys closer because at the end of the day, you still want to miss that person. Okay. You don't want to be texting them all day and like, I don't even miss him. Like, yeah, he's right. You know what I mean? You want to yeah. miss that person. Yeah. So that's what I had to learn getting to know people and getting to know myself that I need to not latch on to somebody so quickly. Because okay. that happens. And also, some people, um, they might, you know, some people might, some people, um, how can I 
question is they want somebody to confide in. And if you're listening to me mm. and you are, you know, engaging with me and helping me and giving me advice, I might latch on to you. Granted, we're friends. Yeah, girl, you can latch on. So that's here, why. Right here. I have on my shoulder. Oh, thank you. I don't want to get any red on you. Yeah, no, you know, no, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's rinse. It's rinse. white. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, you know, essentially, you, you want to latch on to somebody. Some people want really, some people are latchy. Yeah. I don't want to say clingy, but latchy. So, say clingy. it happens. It, it happens. But I do understand your point, though. Okay. Teddy, to, to you, what is your, your view on this? In retrospect to your actual situation, mm-hmm. which is essentially is a topic. What, yeah. Which so, I went off topic is what you're saying. No, no, no. 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 You <laughs> No, you're just talking about a, a variation of right. your experience. Which right, is fine. right. I think what possibly speeds us up and brings us, especially guys that are in the community, mm-hmm. in the gay community, is the first and almost problem, I think, is the fact that 90% of the community has insecurities. Mm-hmm. And one of the biggest insecurities that everybody has is that they're cheating. Well, if you're not if you're not out there being a slut, no one's cheating then. But I'm sorry. That's that's my view on that. I'm sorry. True. I, but I didn't mean to go there. For some people, when they're first getting into something, regardless, mm-hmm. you know, some people they'll be like, okay, you know, this person is not that person, so obviously I'm going to treat them different and give them, you know, do different things with them that I didn't do, you know. With, Person Essentially, I just want you know that's not a gay problem. That's just a people problem. That's a people okay. problem. That's a people that's problem. Right. Actually, this whole thing is a people problem. It's not happening to guys. But, right. it's a but problem. essentially, yeah. what you're saying, that's a people problem. So, I think because of that, that plays a big part. And a lot of people like to stay in their head. So, when they initially see that, mm. they take that as, obviously, as negativity. Go all the way deep in their bag. And the first thing that comes out is, oh, you must be with someone else. Because mm. you're not talking to me. Right. When I had all of your time, or if not all of your time, a chunk of it, mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden it's gone, or I don't have the power to just contact you freely. Right. Or whenever I want. So, boom, here it is. Oh, you must be with somebody else. Or you fucking somebody else. Or you out on a date. Or, but at the end of the day, you with somebody else. And... I just think that's part of part of the problem. The insecurities and people just got to get out of he- your heads. If you know your worth and you know who you are, then you matter not. So I'm gonna ask you guys, as my friends, um, and in front of, in front of our viewers, uh, I'm an Aquarius, as you guys know. Oh. Now <laughs> we value our alone time. Mm-hmm. Now, is it wrong for me to let me sure I say this correctly without sounding like a um, is it wrong that when I'm getting to know somebody that I do want to take like that pause, like to like step back and evaluate like where we are? No, you should no. do that. I feel okay. like anybody, you should definitely take a step back and really look at what's going on because. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying like I'm just going to clarify. I'm not saying like completely stop talking to the person. Right, you just want to take a moment and really. Probably like, right. Okay. okay. No, you're not wrong for that. Everybody need a report time. card. So silly. <laughs> when you're getting to know somebody, you can sit there and get to know them, and you might get comfortable with mm-hmm. who they are, mm-hmm. but you might not essentially agree with what's doing. Like, mm-hmm. let's say, uh, for example, you're comfortable with this person. You become. Let, let's say this person goes out every Friday night, but you mm-hmm. don't go out every Friday night. Well, I don't go out every Friday night. Well, I'm just saying I do example. Go out often. I'm just saying you, example. Okay. Yeah, as example, you might not go out every Friday night, but mm. you know that person goes out every Friday night. Mm. So you might not be you might not be okay with it, but you mm. become comfortable with it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like you might not which like it. Actually, but, my next question. Right. Next. Um, which is um again as an Aquarius, um I look for someone who is. Okay, I look for someone who's going to give me their attention, but also at the end of the day has their own life. Right. Is that too much to ask for? No. no. Like, but whereas, it's, it's not too much to ask for. Mm-hmm. It's just hard to get. Okay, because, like, like, where is this? Like, you know, I have, outside, you know, outside of the tea, I have, you know, my regular nine to five. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, clearly, here I do the tea. Um, I have my friendship with you guys. I have my friendship with other people. Um, and to me, that's, you know, my time away from the person I'm talking to, getting to know, dating mm-hmm. or whatever. Right. Is it wrong for me to want that person to have that themselves? 
No. No. And then, like, essentially, when we're together, it's about us. Right. No, because... Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Essentially, um, you want everybody in your life. Mm-hmm. So, you want to brag to not something I got to bounce you. Lately, it's hard to, do, to juggle all you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse the fuck out of me, Kevin. No, but... Because um, next weekend, bitch, I am busy. <laughs> <laughs> I am pumped. Excuse me. <laughs> But um, essentially, you know, Ooh. you want to beg to. Go ahead. You want to brag to your friends, yeah. kind of about your man. How are you gonna yeah. brag to your friends about your man if you're not with them? Yeah. And essentially, you want to tell the person you're with you if you guys lay together at night or whatever. Mm-hmm. If that's the last person you talk to, you want to tell them about your day. Like, and girl, being crazy, with, this is right, right, that, 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 right, and but, you can be what happened with ten This is right. right. So that yeah. is the, you want to have something to talk about. So if you guys are always together, you're not gonna have anything to talk about because essentially, right now, mm-hmm. our lives are coincided. Mm-hmm. When you go home, and when you go home, and when I go home, our lives are separate at that point because mm-hmm. we're not together. That's not for nothing, bitch. I ain't talked to you all week. <laughs> <laughs> but I talked to you like once this week, so, Other, including today before we record. Wow. So, you know, essentially, you know, if we're if we were always together, like we could talk about this right now, but we essentially all know what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But a person you're talking to doesn't know what's going on because he's not here. Yeah. And so forth. Which so I'm sorry, if I'm just talking to you, you're not privy to certain information either. That's Hello. true. Hello. I'm sorry. Like that's, true. that's just the way it is. I mean, just in general, like you should not especially if you're just getting to know someone, and I'm not saying dating. I mean, getting to know like someone. Like, you're literally just talking about the very beginning. And yeah. mm-hmm. You haven't even gone on a date You yet. should also not preview that wait, to also, every you know, but also, detail of your life. Because that, that makes you really open and boring eventually. But also, at one point, are you guys going to go on a date? Because you've been talking for two well, weeks. Not for nothing. I'm, and that's the thing. Like, this is how I know I'm having an issue. Okay, because the date would have happened already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to at say. first, I thought maybe it was just, like, a schedule. I was talking to a person for a week, and we had yeah. a date, like. Um, because at first, it was, I thought it was just maybe a scheduling issue, but then I realized, like, um, I realized earlier today, um, I was visiting my goddaughter, um, shout out to Shannon, who just had, you know, her first baby. Congrats, My Shannon. goddaughter. Um, oh, shit, girl. I, come I, on, come on, come on. No, hold on, I'm trying to remember how, how, um, how, how big she is. She is, um... Seven pounds, one ounce. She is fifteen inches long, and that is okay, my that first okay. goddaughter. I have telekinesis. Okay. Oh yeah, I could go. I was trying. I was trying to focus <laughs> on the corporate hair. Um, I didn't say her name either. That right? No. no. Um, it is Ayari Zahara Smith. Yes. That's pretty. <laughs> he is so happy. Okay. Yes, I'm so happy. He's um, so go to my Instagram. Check out the pictures. Um, because but anyway, so I, I like, I realized earlier today, like, you know, when I was talking about, you know, like, you know, God daddy me time, yeah, I'm calling it God daddy me time, um, that I don't think I'm really interested in him in that way because now I feel early on, I feel smothered and I'm like, you know, is this a preview of what the future might possibly hold? Right. So I don't think, I don't think that's going to be a day. I really think after this, I'm going to go say like, listen, don't call me no more. I was about to tell you, you might want to just do that. Oh, Only because usually, mm-hmm. and yes, I'm about to say statistics show, even though there's never been a, a census done on this. Okay, girl, mm-hmm. experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <experience. laughs> <laughs> But, um, you know, just from experience, personal mm-hmm. experience, as well as others' experience, that people that have been in situations like that, mm-hmm. usually those people that have all this time and are constantly in their bag, usually have no life. They're usually home all day with nothing to do, hoping and praying they had cable to watch. Girl, most people don't have cable nowadays because now there's Showbox, Hulu, Hulu Netflix, Netflix, um, MovieTube, and all the other stuff. But most, generally, I'm not just saying all, obviously, but from what I've seen, usually those are the people that are either lonely or... They have nothing to do. They have nothing occupying their time. Right. What? What? What is? Th- well, because what I was just thinking was so shady. Oh, you well, tried. I mean, okay. <laughs> well, in response to what you said, this is what I'm gonna say because, well, this my situation is different because it's been longer. But mm. essentially, you know, there's downtime at times. Whatever, not all the time, but at times. 
Yeah. So there's times where it's downtime and I come to look at my phone. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I want a text message and sometimes like, oh, I'm just looking at my phone and just look at it. Mm-hmm. But essentially, sometimes I want a text message, so I text and sometimes I don't get a text message back. But like I said, this is a different situation. It's been longer. Mm-hmm. It's not two weeks in. This is like way past that. So yeah. it's definitely a different situation. But okay. I feel that when I'm first talking to somebody, I definitely don't feel obligated. I will say this. It's been a long time since I recently got to know somebody new. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I have, I never felt like they had to text me. Mm-hmm. I felt like if they wanted to text me, that's a nice gesture, but I never felt obligated, like, they have to text me. Mm-hmm. But, um, also, too, um, I'm not gonna say, I'm not trying to be cocky or, you know, Girl not be me. humble. Girl, but me. nine times out of ten, when I talk to somebody, mm-hmm. if we, whether I got his number first or he got my number first, whatever it is, essentially... If I got your number first, I just send you a text. You can get my number. You know, you're free to text me. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something about those. Cause I, <laughs> I can't stop looking, but go ahead. <laughs> um, essentially. <laughs> go ahead! Essentially. <laughs> what's wrong with him? Girl, I don't know. I don't know. Are you, is this something? Oh, it, I have it's something in my teeth. It's the girls. Oh, it's the girls? I look here, but can't look here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you checking her titties? <laughs> no, they just did. So I just like, bam. So like, anyway, <laughs> keep change. Anyway, sexual harassment. Now nah, you can open uh, back up. Open back up. The viewers need to see the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, but you know, um, essentially, if I send a text message, that's just to give them my number, and then mm-hmm. they're full blown on conversation after that. Okay. And you know if they get if I if they get my number they'll text me. This times where they text me almost instantly after they got my number. Thirst. I'm not going to ask. And that's <laughs> not that. Like, I'm not gonna say, Is that thirst? No, not, wait, all wait, not all the not time. Not all the time. Not all the time. Because sometimes people just might be into me. People. I mean, yeah. People mm-hmm. essentially like what they see with me. Well, nine and they times be out of on it. And right. And, and they and they like listen. Like you. I'm just, trying to snatch that up right, right now. So I. That I understand, but I think it's thirst, like, this is what I consider thirst. Mm -hmm. If... Oh, girl, we can tell. Who new topic? Okay. If what I consider thirst is, if I give you my number, you text me, but I'm not really... You can kind of tell when a person is not really, you know, into you. You can kind of tell. And then my question to that is, why give you, give the number in the first place? Well, okay, essentially, when you give somebody your number, you might not know how they are, but you might get to know them and realize you're not interested. Okay. So, at that point, if I'm not really texting you like that, we're not texting each other like that. I'm going to tell you, lose my number. I'm done. See. But, if essentially you don't like the person, or if Mm -hmm. I don't like the person, I should say, if I don't like the person, or if I'm seeing myself, like, backing away, I'll just slowly kind of just, like, I'll let, I'll let them text me or whatever, Mm -hmm. but maybe that's me being light-skinned, as people like to call it, but, um, (laughs) I don't know, like, if I'm not really feeling the person, then, you know, I'll just, I'll just text them if if they were my friend, like, hey, what's up, what you doing? Okay, cool, no big deal, but if I like you, and I, you know, I want the conversation to be, you know, flowing, it doesn't Mm -hmm. necessarily have to be heavy, but I want it to be flowing. You know, so last point um to the topic, and I'll leave you guys alone. Um, you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Because we have to. You go. promise? We have to go. Okay. No, we have to go. We I have, have to go. go cook. Yeah, we have to go. Um, <laughs> when is it? When is it too soon to start using the term "bay," "babe," um, "boo"? Stuff if you like haven't that. been on at least two dates, mm-hmm. at least minimum, I would say three. But if you haven't been on at least two dates, I think it's too soon. Because the person that I am dealing with, we didn't start doing that, I would say, until after we kind of, like, decided we would go a little bit further. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily, you know, be in a relationship, but mm-hmm. going, we knew that we were Taking getting there. half a step right. to the full step. Right, basically. Yeah. Um, wait, and you go ahead, answer, because I didn't get your, I, I mean, I got, we got your reaction, but we didn't get your answer. <laughs> Is it, what's the question? What is it too soon to say, like, you know, boo, babe? When is it too soon? Yes, like, the same day. Mm. Because, honestly, you do have a lot of people that have no problem, and they'll try and act like they slipped up and slipped it in. Oh, my bad, I didn't mean to call you. But you know what? No, not for nothing. Like, um, 
Because I, you know, in, in the past, I've gotten, like, text message, initial text messages. Like, you know, again, like we say, we'll change the numbers. Where the person says, oh, hey, boo, it's so-and-so. Well, you know what? Some people, much? some people use no. that as a... Well, okay. I don't think so. In that person's defense, mm-hmm. some people use that as a term of endearment. Yeah. Okay, because that's, that's, that's where I was about to go. Right. Because that's what I put down honey all the time. Right. I should so anybody's honey. Because, right. like, honey, girl, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but some people use that term as a term of endearment. Like, girl, yeah. you're like, hey, boo, what's up? Mm-hmm. You know, stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. it's sometimes it's a term of endearment. Mm-hmm. But... You know, and with guys, they want to flirt, so they feel like boo is a flirt word. To me, boo is a flirt, a flirt word. I don't think boo is... Boo to me is, like, off, an off term. Like, if you're trying to, like, talk to me, get to know me, and, like, you know, make it serious, boo is an off, a, off the topic word. Well, in the beginning, no, we can just... Because, I mean, essentially, you don't know where it's going to really, go. Really, all so. those things to me are off topic words. Like, if, if I'm really something you want to... Someone I, you want to be with, boo, babe, and all that, that's just, that's just something you call me because you, you don't know my name. Hello, can you, can y'all get out of my head? Stay over here, okay? <laughs> Damn. Because <laughs> I, I definitely agree, though. Yeah, like, that's, that's a term you use like, when you are juggling more than one person. Okay. And you don't want to fuck up and say the wrong name. Babe, babe, right babe, in the babe, babe, that's boo. Babe, 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 baby. Babe. Okay, baby. <laughs> sure enough. Babe. But, um, yeah, to me, those are all off-topic words. Right. Like, if you're trying to really get to know me or I'm, or I'm the one, um, especially in the beginning of shit, those names, leave it off. Leave it off. Because I, I just feel like that's just a, a name you're trying to call me so you could because at the time you find my real name. Right. Okay, I understand. I also feel like, just circling back around, that... Um, people in those situations, I think, um, later on down the line become very controlling because they sit up here and ask you, oh, where was you at? Why didn't you pick up my phone? What was you doing that you couldn't pick up the phone? First and foremost, for you to put yourself in that position so early in the game to, to where you feel like you could ask them, ah, I keep biting the inside of my gums. So, when you feel like you could um, ask that type of question mm-hmm. in the tone that you ask it and think that it's okay, you got a problem. Okay. Okay, I lied. I do have one last question. Okay. okay. And, and that's it. Um, and this is for you, Cray. Um, because, you know, we're on the opposite end of it and we've always experienced it. Um, when have men... Okay, when did men become so emotional, which is really essentially our topic. You want you want my honest opinion? I can give you the answer to that. Wait, you want to give my honest opinion? Your honest opinion. Even though I love him and he's like one of my favorite rappers, I feel that, well, I want to say before him, because I feel like some rappers were a little mm-hmm. emotional, but um, I feel like maybe when Drake came out, Okay. And he was essentially the rapper that came in and expressed how he felt about mm. a woman cheating on him or a woman not doing him right or a woman trying to take advantage of his fame. Mm. I feel like essentially when that, when he started, that people felt okay. Men felt okay. Like, it's okay to express how I feel. Mm. But in the same token, you know, even though you feel there's a lot of men that express themselves, also a lot of men who don't even... Who won't even let you know how they feel. They just expect you to mm. know. No, no, no. I'm not saying expressing themselves. I'm like... Emotional. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Emotional like, to me is you expressing how you feel because that's your emotion. Okay. But you mean like... But you mean like... I, I understand what you mean. But I feel that, um, you know, maybe when Drake came out also... Um, it's not just Drake because I feel like Kanye has expressed how he felt about certain things too. Um, oh, yes. Because President Bush, Bush does not like black people. Oh, yeah, no. that's like world famous. Right. Thing. Well, not even just that. I'm saying if you listen to Kanye, he had a song called Paranoid where he's trying to put his uh, girlfriend's mind at ease. Like, you mm. need to stop being paranoid. Like, I'm here with you. Mm. Relax. Okay. So if any other guy could just be like, well, I'm done. I'm walking away because she mm. thinking something else. Mm. But he sat, he sat sure. down and said the time to her. Not only that, on cold, he freaking told everybody how he was in love with Kim way before, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. So there's times that it's it's just different things, but I think that in society, where if as long as society ex- accepts that person, because essentially, just about everybody accepts Drake for who he is. A lot of people fuck with Drake, 
So being that that happens, everybody's like, okay, well, Drake's doing fun. Essentially, what I wanted to say was, it because somebody in the public eye is doing it, it's okay. okay. Because Nicki has wears pink, well, used to wear pink hair. Every hood bitch in America thinks she can wear pink okay. hair. But little uh, did they know, girl, they I'm could. glad that trend left. Little did they know they couldn't. Um, and not even just that, you know, with anybody, and you the know, wigs. right? And the wigs. Well, the girls still wear wigs, right? Uh, there's so, no pink shit no more. Right, but you know, essentially, they feel like because somebody else is doing it, it's comfortable. And essentially, that's what artists want to do. Mm-hmm. They want to make it okay for you to to, to be you. Mm-hmm. So, but maybe they're just maybe they took it too much. Took it to the extreme. They took it to the extreme. They gave them an inch and they took like 10 miles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. Does anyone have anything to add to the topic before you close out? I was just going to say that um, I think they are emotional from the very second. The doctor says it's a boy. I'm done. Okay. And on that note. What? Oh, super tea. Um, but, um, um, write okay. us. Tell us what you guys think. What are your opinions? What are your thoughts? Um... To, mo- to any of the, the things we discussed in the, in the Tea of the Week. Um, of course, email us at T-H-E, letter T, New York, spelled out, at gmail.com. Um, Facebook.com, backslash, T-H-A, letter T, N-Y-C. Um, or Instagram, T-H-A, underscore, letter T, N-Y-C. Um, am I forgetting something? No. That's everything for right now. For right now. Comment down below. Um, mm-hmm. Share the video. Mm-hmm. Like the video. Uh-huh. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell subscribe. a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell another friend. And, and to tell two friends. If you can't catch us on YouTube, make sure you catch us on Liberated Audio, where we drop bars mm-hmm. All day, every day. week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Tuesdays, 10 a.m. or 11? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Tuesday night, 7 p.m. And mm-hmm. then again, Thursdays, same time. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, with that being said, um, the tea has been served. served. Um, take care. Again, remember to like, yeah. comment, subscribe, and share this video. We will see you guys next week with an all new video and a all new topic. Um, I think this week what we're going to do is, depending on the topic, we might post it on our Facebook fan page. Yeah. So you guys have a, a preview of what it's going to be, and you guys can comment and... We can you know, share your comments and on the show. Right. Take right. care. Bye, guys. Peace. That was a long-ass episode. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Tea. I'm Alika Cray. This is Teddy P. And this is Diva. How's it going, everybody? What's up, y'all? <laughs> yes! I love it. I love okay. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so let's get right into The Tea. You guys ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm, ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Let's get it going. And remember... This is the key, is the key before, before spilling your tea. tea. Oh, we got right. yeah. okay. Craig, I love these glasses that you got us. I love these Aren't glasses. Aren't they cute? Mm-hmm. Red Solo. I'm with yeah. it. I'm definitely with they it. They definitely had different ones, but I like these three. They have, like, shot glasses when I went. They were really good. But I like the fact that we each have a different glass. Okay. And, like, our different personalities. Yes. You better come through. Okay. So, this week, we have a new segment, The Flawless Report. Yes. Okay. Should we get it right into it? Right in. Right into right it. Right into it. All right, so first person up on the floor's report, Nicki Minaj. Nikki. My B.I. Yes, Nicki. Um, <laughs> Come through, Nicki. Nicki be- debuted her latest collab with the Jordan brand, y'all. Uh-oh. Yes, Nicki. <laughs> yes, she got the latest collab. You know, she always doing the collabs. So Nicki's um, in the shoe game. Nicki okay. is in the shoe game, because you know the shoe game be on sneak. <laughs> so, this past Friday at the Jordan brand classic, Nicki was spotted, spotted wearing the bright Barbie-tastic Jordans. Barbie tastic. Okay. Barbie tastic. Barbie tastic. Wait, did Barbie you just tastic. make a name, a word up? Barbie tastic. I think I did. I mean, she does it all the time. I like it though. Right. Barbie, Barbie tastic. tastic. But you know, that's a good way to describe the sneakers. Though. That's a great way. With pink, blue, purple, and a silver stripe, the pink prints will definitely be turning heads. An official release date has not been announced as of yet, but I, for one, can't wait for them to drop. Because, you know, I've never had a pair of Jordans, but, but those I, might be the ones I buy. I think you do have a pair of Jordans coming in your future. Okay? I can see a new pair of Jordans. Oh my God, that's inspired. And also, Nikki is also the first female to collab with the Jordan brand. Wow. Big up to Nikki. Which then turns out she was also in town for her mom's wedding. Okay. But she also was like, you know, while I'm out here, um, one of her favorite brands, Giuseppe, was opening their first Beverly Hills store. And she was like, you know what? Let me show up and show out. Okay. And honey, she showed up and definitely showed out. Flawless as ever. 
Um, she, um, of course, you know, it was a Giuseppe store opening, and she wore one of her, um, which I love about Beyonce, she repeats her shoes. Yeah, she's not like most celebrities where like she's like in one pair of shoes. No, and that's the only time she's no. She um wore her Giuseppe sandals, the um the black with the thick straps. She loves those sandals. She said um she was quoted saying that so those are the most comfortable shoes she's ever worn. Wow. Um, but I I love that because it's she made good use of her time. She like you know I had the Coachella event to go to. My mom's getting married, and one of my favorite brands is opening a store. Of course, I have to show up, and then of course, show out looking flawless. Hello, flawless. But um, she barring, woke up like this. But barring on flawless and inspired <laughs> by Cray, um, which yes, I would say it broke the internet. Um, Miss Minaj kind of hinted to the fact and alluded to the fact that her and Mr. Mills. Meek Mill? That yes. it is. Might be, possibly, Wait, are definitely doing it, getting in, have been get, or engaged. Okay. okay. Um, she to took to her own Instagram and um, posted a picture of a heart-shaped canary diamond, um, estimated to be 15 carats um, in uh. size, um, surrounded by white diamonds on the bezel, um, estimated at an astounding 500 thousand dollars. Woo! Meek spelled that Meek coin. Spent the coin. Okay. The coin. But on a barb that special, you need to spend the coin. You definitely do. But that is queen barb right there. But now, <laughs> my question to you guys is, um, which actually goes with our topic, um, which you'll get into a little off. <laughs> do you guys think it's too soon? Well, my opinion... Because not for nothing, low-key, there is rumors that they're going to get married sooner than later. Ooh. Like, well, like real soon. The thing with me, being that I'm an intense Nikki fan, mm-hmm. I know to only uh, how do I say it? I know to only uh, believe when she says it. Because mm-hmm. there's time. There's been a lot of rumors, you know, that you know Nikki. You know, they were saying about Nikki, and half the time it wasn't true. Mm-hmm. I don't believe things about Nikki until I actually see it. But I will say this. I knew for a long time she was with Safari. Yeah. The world was like, I mean, we oh, all kind of... Oh, that's just the hype man. That's just my yeah. hype man. That's just my best friend. We all kind of knew that she was with Safari. Oh, he was but up. we don't know exactly when she broke. We... <laughs> I'm done. Okay, because I caught it. That's why I had to... Crazy. You are out of OC. Okay. OC. <laughs> all the way. OC. Wait, what did I do? What did you just say? Repeat to our viewers what you just said. Girl, I don't remember. Okay. Well, you know what? They got it on camera. So they <laughs> okay. Go back. Rewind. So anyway, like I was saying, what was I saying? You don't believe it until I you don't see believe it until I see know. it, right? But um, you know, we don't. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying was they didn't announce when um, you know, they we didn't know we don't know exactly when her and Safari broke up. We just recently found out about it when the album came out. Yeah, it just looks but like But if you right watch uh, Nikki My Time Again, the special that she had on MTV, mm-hmm. um, you see Safari in the beginning. But then around the VMAs, you don't, around the VMAs, it's either before or after, I believe it was before, you don't see him. Hmm. So around that time, they may or may not have broke up. They might have been broken up longer than that. And there's no time telling when right. that was really found. Right, mm-hmm. exactly. And we have, well, we have, we have, we, live. But no, but I'm saying we have an idea as to like when the break of the time. Happened. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. We have an time. idea, right. So, and then, you know, there's there were rumors that, you know, she had been talking to Meek before she, right? So wait, okay. not only are the Jordans Barbie-tastic. Barbie-tastic. She For also men. is making history. She's making history. Herstory. Yes. Oh, her yes. her yes. her 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 <laughs> Okay. She's making her theory. Yes. Yep. I live. I live. I live. I live. Right? Um, what else is in the Flawless Report? Next up on the Flawless Report, congratulations is in order to the wonderful Tina Knowles. Yay. Yay. Okay? Yay. You know, my um mother in my head. Um, she got married over the weekend to Richard Lawson. Um, they've been together for quite some time now. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Um, they actually got married in Newport, California okay. on a yacht. Mm. Um, it was 
a little over 300 people there. Mm -hmm. uh, they also had the same theme uh, that Solange had mm -hmm. with the all white. Everyone came in all white. Okay. Um, Didn't Beyonce do that too or something similar? Like yeah. Where everybody pretty much came up, came in white. I know they were white, of course. They pretty much kind of, the all three of them kind of did the same thing for what it looks like. Um, and all the guests, surprisingly, were escorted to the yacht by personal SUVs. Oh. 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 Yes. Well, oh. excuse me. Okay, they Wait, had... to quote Sex and City, I'm in my own private air conditioning. <laughs> I'm done. Yes. Um, so, again, congratulations to the 60-plus crowd that's getting remarried. Twerk it out. Yes. Go ahead, 60? Yes. Um, wow. Richard is 68. I'm not look good for 60. I thought she... like Miss Knowles uh, was a little bit older than that. She's 61. You got it? Not that way. How old is How old is Richard? Richard is sixty-eight. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can do that. We can do the that. Sixty plus crowd. We can do that. Well, next in the sports report, um, I'm gonna snatch from you for a second. Snatch him. Snatch him. And I'm gonna talk about Miss Tina's daughter, Beyonce, because she was um also no, clearly she was in town. Mm -hmm. Um, she was regularly in town actually for Coachella. Well, go with the I don't believe that because I don't think Nikki's a cheater. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they could have been friends for a long time. They could have been on some Kanye and Kim stuff because you know stuff Kim happens. was plot, um, Kanye was plotting for a minute. So and people say that you know Meek might have been plotting because you know this isn't the first time the pink print wasn't the first time that Nikki and Meek had worked together because he she was on his mixtape. I believe it's Dreamcatchers two. Yes, they have two songs. I be on that and Dope Dealer. So excuse me. Okay. Right. okay. So, well, you know, that's me with my, but anyway, so um, <laughs> that's me knowing my Nikki shit, you know, that's my bitch. But, um, you know, we, I, there's no time telling, you know, what happened. So uh, it's possible, but like I said, we don't know how long we've been together. I don't think it's been more than a year, maybe just a year, if anything. But, um, you know, I mean, some people get married in 90 days. Some people, you know, I guess, it depends on how you feel. Well, you know what? When it comes to matters of the heart, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. If you love someone, okay. time is nothing. Time is just there. Yeah. If you love someone and you feel like you want to be with them for the rest of your life, then hey. Okay. Who am I to Because you're the one that got to live with it. Exactly. And sleep at, with the decision that you exactly. made at the end of the night. So. Right. Yes. That's definitely true. Mm -hmm. Yep. But Teddy. Yes, darling. My love. Yes. I'm here. Get into this tea, honey. We're getting to this, this tea. Spot. All right, y'all. So, first up on spots of tea. Brandy. Brandy goes to Chicago, y'all. No, she didn't she move to Chicago. She didn't get on a plane to go to Chicago. Well, she, she took a train. Hold on. She may have gotten on the plane to come to Chicago. Chicago, the musical, that is, people. Not Chicago, the state. Brandy. Wait, really? The state? The Chicago. state. The city. The, the state okay? Really. That was a Portia Williams moment. Excuse me. That was definitely a Portia Williams moment. That was still a Portia Williams moment. I can't. That's a Sarah Palin really moment, too. I can't. All right. Uh, uh, Sarah, go ahead. Continue. Stop. <laughs> um, but Brandy is um, rehearsing 